everybody, my name is Chase Pipeson. You're watching Chase in History, brought to you by the American Digger Magazine, and you are watching the educational arm of the Smoky Mountain Relic Room. And we're, we are so far not near anything. Anytime you see this guy right here, that means we are not near any sense of civilization. We're out with Tyree Lamp with Utah Dump Digger on Facebook. If you guys haven't had a chance, go on to Utah Dump Digger on Facebook, follow Ty. This is, he, when it comes to fossils, it doesn't matter what it is. If it's dead in, in a rock, he's on it. <laughs> We're out hunting the White River Formation. And this is, you know, right at the end of the Eocene, the beginning of the Oligocene era. This is about 20, 30 million years old, somewhere around in here. This is where you've got mammals, you know, exploding onto the scene and yeah. doing some really, really weird mammal stuff. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you've got bear, pig, dogs, <laughs> Cat wolf bears. <laughs> you, you've got things dawns. with tusks and horns that don't belong to anything. That are all all evolutionary dead ends. It was all there was wide open because the dinosaurs had disappeared and everything was wide open, and they were just trying to fill all these niches and who could get there first and use the resources and and some of the things that worked for a little while and somebody else had come along and evolved better and boom they'd be gone. Yeah. <laughs> One of the things about this site too that's kind of fun is it's got all these brachiopods, all these snail shells. Oh yeah, these things over. are awesome. They're all over in this layer with these fossils. Yeah. This shows that it was a marine environment that this was laid down in. Stream bed, Yeah. Uh, shallow shoreline, something like that. One of these neat things about this whole environment we're in is it preserved a lot of things that you don't normally see. We've got the mammals, We've got brachiopods, we've got the shells and the little animals that are living in the water. But one of these interesting things that you see are these nice little round balls. And these are dung beetle balls. So the dung beetles were making their little balls to lay their eggs in. And they got buried up with the same flood that buried up this animal. And there you have it. And this is probably the most precarious fossil I've ever seen. And we're going to see if I can grab it without dropping down the 30 foot hole. Uh, 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 we got one fossil. This looks to be like a large oreodont. Now we're digging the uh, White River Formation, which is, uh, whoa. Look at that skull crest. That is awesome. Think of the White River Formation. This is into the Eocene, beginning of the Oligocene. Let's see if we can get the most important part here. Ah, look at that. All right, guys, we're out here hunting the White River Formation, and we have found an awesome freaking skull. We've got a whole skull coming out right there. There's the, there's the jaw of it right there. And then here... There's the canine there and the jaw section here. And we've got bones coming up here. But this is the whole thing. It looks to be a crackadon, which is like a wolf bear thing. So, you know, that's the thing about digging the White River is, is there's you've got all these crazy species of mammals that are just, it's the birth of mammals. And it's when mammals are trying to figure out exactly what's going on. All right, guys, so here's what we're doing. We're climbing up this whole draw that you see behind me. And all in through here, this top cap layer that you see behind, we've got fossils spilling out all over the place. Let's head on up and see what more we can find. See, what's cool about this is this is a period of history where, you know, mammals are just now starting to try to figure everything out. You know, the dinosaurs are dead and gone. You know, there's, uh, and mammals, which, you know, during the period of dinosaurs were these little teeny tiny little, little things. And they started, exploded onto the, onto the scene. And uh, since all the major predators were gone, these little shrew-like things just turned into giant, giant animals. And what's neat is, is, you know, evolutionary, they just went on a 
so many different branches. I mean, they were doing all kinds of crazy things like pig, bear, dog, cat, wolf, coyote, moose, bear, pig. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of weird mammals in this period. It is hilarious. All right, so we made it back to camp and we just want to show you. So this is what we've, this. <laughs> This is what me and Tony picked up yesterday. This is just the loose pieces. That's how many fossils we've got here. I mean, there and is We're only literally... picking up identifiable pieces. We're not picking up random chunks. These are nice limb ends, jaws. Great pieces of tooth, limb ends. I mean, this is just, this is insane. I mean, it is a five gallon bucket full of stuff. In one day. In one day day i mean it just goes and goes and they're all good you pieces. know there's yeah limb ends lots of bracts lots of pieces parts i mean that's articulated there's three toes stuck together right there oh you know it's just a neat little piece that you there's can see there's a really cool articulated yes. piece right there i don't know how many pieces of heads and jaws and teeth and limb ends but see, you when we it's... tell you guys that fossils aren't rare, we mean <laughs> they're not rare. When you're in the right places like this is, they're everywhere. There's just not a lot of people out there hunting this stuff. And give it, you know, all of this stuff is stuff that washed away, that washed out, that was yeah. on the way to be destroyed. I can't tell yes. you how many jaw sections like this that you know, one piece was up here, one piece was here, one piece was down yep. here, and it was all on its way to be to be being destroyed. Yep. We made it about 50 yards, 50, 60 feet from the four wheelers. We found several things. We just filmed the skull that was blown up around the corner, popped over the hill. And here's another one. This is a jaw and more limbs that are blown up, weathering out, coming down this hill. There's pieces and parts all over. There's more back here where it's harder to see. But if you look, you can see all these pieces coming scattered all the way down the hill and once they hit the bottom of these cracks the way this clay is they'll just be buried they're gone forever once they hit the bottom of the mud flat they're gone they're done so you've got only five or six feet from where they weathered out to where they're completely lost forever now one thing we noticed while we were sitting here is we could look over at the next hill let me run over there i'll point it out just to show how many and how close this stuff is together sometimes Another skull just right here, or half a skull. It's all weathered out, the nose is gone, the back half of the skull is gone already, and it's getting ready to roll off the hill. This won't last the next rainstorm. Here's the next one. These are just big bone that's blown up and coming out. But all along this layer, every 20, 30 feet, there's another one of these for miles. That's just insane, man. And that's just about half a skull. Most of it's gone already. That's crazy, but look at the teeth. Yeah. That's it, one more rainstorm. Oh yeah, that's already, I mean, it's all blown up. And that would be gone. It's gone. So when this was buried, it was probably a complete skull. You can see how bad it's falling apart already. Back's gone, nose is gone. Still has lower jaws, they're not too bad a shape. Another word on it. But that's just the whole front end of the skull. There's the part of the eye socket there. Yeah, well, eye socket would have been here and here. It's just gone. You know, there's one a, more rainstorm. This thing would have been just yeah. off the, the mountain. This probably showed up this past rainstorm that we had yeah. too. I'd say. Yep. But just right where we're filming, fossil after fossil after fossil after yep. fossil, and it's the skulls. <laughs> That's what's crazy. Jaw sections, jaw sections, skull, skull, limb. I think it was the not so chewy bits. That's we find a lot of limb ends that are broke off that the centers are missing out of and stuff, and they were harder, tougher pieces. Like the jaws are tougher, harder, not as much meat on them, mm -hmm. so they weren't predated. They weren't ate as much. That makes a lot of sense. So this is a limb end we were taking a picture of across there that I ran over here to show you. Now if you look, you can see these pieces scattered all down this little ravine right here. Now these pieces are all just loose, weathered out, blown up, falling down the mountain. 
there's nothing left of this limb. That's probably where it came from up here. And it's, there's a couple more. And it's eroding out there. And as it erodes out, it's blowing up and falling down. As soon as it hits the clay at the bottom, it's gone. These pieces have not got any real value to them. They're not articulated ends. There's nothing, there's nothing scientific about these. They're just blowing up and washing away. So one of the things you notice is the same things that happened back millions of years ago, hundreds of thousands of years ago, are still happening today. And a lot of times when we're out walking around, we find just pieces of fossils, ends of limbs, things like that. And people are always asking, they automatically assume that we're finding complete skeletons. And a lot of times you don't. Because when you're walking around, just like today, you find the ends of limbs, the harder pieces that are surviving longer, the predators are eating it, the marrow's rotting out. So if this got buried down here in this creek bottom now, several million years from now when it washed back out that's all you'd find and the next piece might be hundreds of yards away it just depends on how fast it was buried and deposited and how much it was predated and how far it was broke down before it got buried now do you see that in the dinosaur era or just in the mammal every every era every every era, era. happened all the time anytime something dies it, you know when you're out walking around you know, it, how often you see a complete deer skeleton laid out perfectly on the ground not very often you'll find a leg you'll find a bone you'll find stuff scattered all the way down one ravine so and it's the same thing with the dinosaurs the same thing with the mammals same thing every era that makes a lot of sense yeah. you can see the gnaw marks on it yeah, you can see chew marks you can see how it's broken up the marrow is rotting out it's getting hollow it's just don't survive nope I really hope that you guys enjoyed, you know, us taking you out. I, this has been like a bucket list item <laughs> for me to come out and dig this stuff from the early mammals because I mean this is this is just a part of, you know, everybody knows the dinosaurs and everybody knows the the Pleistocene Ice Age stuff, but there's this huge chunk right there in the middle you know, 20, 30, 40 million years that nobody really knows about, that nobody really talks about. And there are some fantastic fossils. But the thing is, is that we need people out there collecting it, you know. There's more of these fossils out there being destroyed than anybody could collect in their lifetime. I mean, they're all over the place. And they're all mostly species that we know about, you know. Mm -hmm. Ty works really hard that if he comes across a species that is new to science, oh, yeah. he gets it there. <laughs> You know, but there's a lot of this stuff, you know, all, you know, this, this one day's worth of hunting, you know, in school kits or in the hands of somebody that's never held a fossil before can do more good to inspire the next generation like you guys out there to learn about science. Because in a time when the uh, people believe that the earth is flat and the earth is only 6,000 years old, <laughs> we need scientists. Yeah, we do. Desperately. <laughs> badly you know this is one of the reasons why we get people that think the earth is only six thousand years old because they're you know, we we gotta have scientists and, and you're not going to get inspired to go into science by you know watching a movie or reading a book you know you're going to get inspired to go into science by out going out here and collecting this stuff or having this stuff available to you and that's what we're trying to do yeah you know you know, here's the thing, guys, is that if you want to be a part of this, you know, you you can. There's nothing stopping you. Get off of that couch. Get out of YouTube and get out here. Find a local fossil club. Find a local rock club and get out and, and you know, and become a part of this. You know, there's places to go. Wherever you live, there's yeah. fossils there. You just got to look into it. So, Ty, you got anything else you want to close with before we get out of here? No, I mean, just... <laughs> Give your local rock clubs a call, go outdoors, enjoy it. There's something to find no matter where you're at. You said it the best. It's just, no matter where you live, there's something fun you can do in the outdoors and you can learn and you can save this stuff. And that's the biggest thing is, is getting out there and saving this stuff. You know, this was a whole animal and just time. Yeah. <laughs> time destroyed it. So, you know, and if we hadn't have come picked it up, these would all, this would, this, even this wouldn't be here. No. So it's important to get out there and to hunt this stuff. Ty, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. For taking us on a bucket list item. <laughs> Dude, oh, this is so, 
So awesome, man. We really appreciate it. And thank you guys for watching. Ty, where can people get a hold of you if they want to get a hold of you? Uh, best thing to do is look on Utah Dump Digger on Facebook. Give us a holler, take a look, make comments, make comments on these videos. I mean, share these videos, spread the word around what we're doing. And if there's something you like, something you don't like, talk to us about it. Send us comments and make comments and just tell us what you think. Comments. comments. We do comments. <laughs> <laughs> Find Ty on Facebook, Utah Dump Digger. Join up, tell him you saw him on Chasing History, and follow him because Ty's digging. If it's in the ground and it can be dug up, this guy is. Yeah, I is mean, on two it. days we're digging a trike. Yeah. You know, <laughs> Triceratops. He's digging dinosaurs after this. Yeah. We're going fossil fish. So. <laughs> but get out there, explore this country. So thank you guys for watching. We sure to appreciate it. Be sure to like and subscribe to this YouTube episode. Check out our other YouTube episodes on our channel, Chasing History. We've got a podcast, Chasing History Radio. You guys can check this out. We are Chasing History, the educational arm of the Smoky Mountain Relic Room. Be sure to check us out. And remember guys, history rocks. Woohoo! Excuse me, little mammal from the Eocene, Oligocene, are you on Twitter? No, Chase, I'm not on Twitter, because Twitter sucks. That's right, little mammal creature bear pig thingy from the Eocene, Twitter does suck. Oh my God, there's so many. <laughs> there's so many, look. Are you crunching? <laughs> <laughs> See, just the cameraman just took a big bite of a cracker. It's God, how many? There's so many. Forgot to turn the mic on. <laughs> son of start a, over from the beginning again. Son of a bitch. <laughs> you know I don't like multiple takes. I'm sorry. Oh, you're all right. Ah, look a jaw. Look, there's another jaw. Oh my God, another jaw. Look, there's, that's not a jaw. Oh yeah, Chase, just go right up there, up the canyon of death, and then you can go right down there, down the Canyon of Death. Sure, there's, yeah, why not? Canyon of Death. If this is how Chase dies, I'll take it. Oh, but that's a job! Head, 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 head,